Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and we're outside again for another explosion video. And today, I have found myself a microwave. It is kind of broken, the table doesn't turn, but it still produces heat. So we're going to be using it today to film some explosion videos. Alright everyone, so basically for the first test, we're going to see if a single firecracker will even ignite in the microwave or if we have to use some tin foil and wrap it around in order for it to catch fire and explode. And by the way, if you're wondering in the background, there's the RSX and the Aristo. Quick shout out to uh, my secondary car channel, BFGF Car Mods. Go check it out, link in the description. But without further ado, let's uh, put this guy in the microwave. Close the door. Turn it on for, just in case, let's do lots of time for five minutes. And start. Here we go. So there, you can see the one firecracker did go off by itself. Let's just stop the microwave now. So there it went. So you don't need any tin foil, but when doing some of the other experiments, I might add some tin foil to make it go on much faster. Next up, we have a smoke bomb, orange, and I'll back it up. Let's do that. So next we're going to try some uh, magnesium. So I'm probably just going to rip off a piece of this. This long here, we're going to put that in the microwave. Next up, we have a string of 16 firecrackers. This should be pretty exciting. Okay, so for the second finale, we have three boxes of fire crackers and two packs of 16 fire crackers. Alright, so here we go. So here is what we've got ready to go. Maybe I'll do a nice up close shot for you guys this time. Um, five minutes should do it. So, oh wait, plug it back in. Okay, we, we're wondering if we just broke the microwave. It's, it's asking me to please set the time of date. That's not what I want from it right now. Oh, so there's what happened anyway. 
I'm gonna say, oh, no, it just turned off, we're good, five more minutes. Okay, go, all right. So I think we're actually activating the extreme popcorn button. And see, it just pauses it at 4.35. So we're just gonna, oh yeah, keep going. So, for the ultimate finale, because we don't want to blow up the microwave quite yet, we're going to be doing some other experiments in the future, like maybe filling it halfway up with kernels and literally watching the door pop open with popcorn. So, for the finale today, though, we have one pack of 16 firecrackers. Oh, sorry, three packs of those. One, two, three. We have a roll of caps, two packs of firecracklers, magnesium strip, two sparklers, and slightly dangerous what we're going to be doing. What is that? Five? Five bottle rockets, black hat, and some other brand name, whatever. So let's open the door here. And there's still tons of fireworks left from the last round. So let's pile, pile all those up in the middle. Kind of. Put some caps in there. Magnesium strip will light really fast. And just empty the boxes of uh, fireworks in there. Not good. Good stuff. Yep, open it all up. We don't want to do too many because it's not like it makes it more exciting. It just lasts longer. Because we could put 20 packs of these in, but it won't necessarily make a bigger explosion because they all go off at different times. And we're going to try and save the microwave so we can use it in more videos. Maybe even comment below what you want to see uh, us put in the microwave in the future because Chances are not everyone's parents have a microwave they want to blow up. Um, so let's go plug it in. And I'll put this on for 10 minutes. I don't think the popcorn button will work for this though. Well, you heard him. The cooking is done. Let's see how our supper turned out. Ah, uh, yes, very good. Very good. So we're gonna have to clean that out, obviously. But, hope you guys enjoyed. And as I said, let me know what you guys want to see put in this microwave. And of course, the only downside is that I am from Canada, so it's hard to get firecrackers. But hey, if anyone wants to send me some, Jesus firecrackers um, PM me maybe if I can get five half bricks which I believe is around 2,000 firecrackers I'd put them all in here at once um, so if you want to do that let me know and I just found something really cool check this out is this too hot to touch no I can touch it okay so let's take all the firecrackers off of this and look at the back of this plate we burnt a hole through the plate, and I bet if you were to poke around back there, let's just poke around with this thing here for a second actually. 
Okay, no, it didn't go through the actual metal base. And this is cracking. Like it's gonna break or something. Yeah, that's kinda scary. Okay, so, thanks for watching everyone. Like I said, let me know what you wanna see. If you're from the States, personal message me. If I can get a few half bricks like I showed you at the beginning to put in the microwave, I would literally fill this thing with firecrackers if you guys wanna see that. Make a good video too, I think. So I gotta get cleaning up, so as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.